TCS TV viewers, it's Evelyn here from the camera store. And of course you might know of the camera store from right here on YouTube, but our roots actually go a lot deeper than camera reviews. We just celebrated 25 years of being in business in Calgary. And so I want to take you guys on a trip down memory lane, talk about some of the things that have changed in the world of cameras and photography in the last 25 years, and talk to some of the people that have made the camera store what it is today, including some familiar faces. If you've been watching this channel for a long time, let me paint a picture for you. The camera store would be the city's 50th camera store, if you can believe it or not, to open its doors in September of 1996. And it was catering to the higher end professional and enthusiast. Well, I don't know if there was need for another camera store, but I was in need of a job. <laughs> <laughs> You might be thinking Electric Avenue, Bar Strip, it might not be the exact perfect location for high-end retail, but Peter knew something about this business. He knew that this would be a great location for students, professionals, and enthusiasts to pick up their film, rent some studio equipment when they needed it, and get help with their gear when they needed it most as well. And so he took that convenience factor and made it a great location for the camera store. Peter and Annabella were soon joined by Julian Ferreira, who had a crazy colorful background working with reptiles and movie set photography. And he actually worked with Peter in a previous photo retail location where they developed a similar philosophy for what they thought true customer service should be all about. I think the biggest need and the biggest thing that Peter and Julian tapped into was customer service. Number one, if you ask anybody, I know myself and although they know me, but even when they didn't know me, I know if I walked in and said, hey, I have a problem. One of my cameras went down or a lens went down. Peter would have no problems of handing you a lens, giving you a rental form and letting you go out and use it so you could do your job. That's the kind of customer service that you don't get anywhere else. And up until this day, they do that. They really know how to look after their customers and, and make sure you're taken care of. And in a small business like ours, and when you're a small businessman running a, 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 a one-man photography show, that is super important. And, and getting that customer service is why everybody continues to come back at the camera store. I mean, you know, face it, virtually nobody considers going anywhere else in Calgary besides the camera store if you're a photographer. Well, I first met Peter uh, when he was the uh, Ilford rep, and uh, when I first saw Peter, I thought he looked a little bit like a young Harrison Ford, which when you look at him nowadays, that's pretty hard to believe, but like I said, this was a long time ago. Well, you know, one of my first interactions, I bought a Leica, a Chrome uh, Leica M6 uh, from Peter, lightly used, and it was to be sold to me uh, as is. Uh, shortly after I got the camera, uh, I had some problems with it, so I brought it back. Peter generously sent it back to Leica, had it serviced, brought back into sort of mint condition. I've been using the camera now for 30 years without any trouble. Uh, so on that first uh, sale, uh, Peter didn't make a lot of cash, but it, uh, it certainly helped to uh, establish our wonderful long-term relationship. You know, it's welcoming. It's like a family. Um, they're super supportive of my work, of other photographers' work. I would never go to any other camera store in the city. They've just made it like a second or third home. I've known Peter when he started the camera store and uh, he was great to work with and always looked after all of us really well and we tried to look after him by giving him a hand with the store when he was all on his own. The camera store has always been completely integrated into my practice since the very beginning and still is. I'm well Peter's still trying to sell me things. I'd go over there and we'd just you know, sit around and talk and I'd play with the lenses and step out on the street and shoot a couple pictures and give the stuff back occasionally and uh, we would go across the street after work, after the place shut down and uh, check out uh, the previous fall's barley crop. It was, yeah, it was a lot of fun, always fun, has been forever. Because uh, it's just so legit. Well, we, I was used to, you know, Robinson, which which was okay, but this, yeah, this was like, wow, this is like a professional. This is a real store. This is a real store. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And I and I remember, I remember Peter and Julian, uh, even though we were, you know, young and wet behind the ears, they were very respectful and they thought like they treated us like professional photographers, even though mm. this is the first time, you know, first time we met them. So there was always that level of treating us like we knew what we were doing, even though we didn't. <laughs> 
I noticed about the camera store was, you know, there's always a coffee area. There was like a place that people totally. could hang out. All the photographers would come in, talk about their pro shoots, and it was a real community. And so it was great to be not only, uh, you know, in a store that had so much gear, but also a part of that community. Well, I mean, I worked at another camera store and it felt like it was just a job for most of the people. But when I started working at the camera store, it's like all the staff here, like actually care about photography you know a lot of yeah. them are like working photographers as well but there was definitely like a real passion there that you wouldn't find in other places as you know or can probably imagine the world of cameras and photography has changed drastically in the last 25 years so i asked each of our guests what they think has changed the most since the camera store opened its doors back in 1996. And obviously the digital. 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 Digital photography came on. I remember the very last year that I shot film and my wife does my taxes at the end of the year and she shouts out the last year I was shooting film. Do you realize you spent $25,000 in film at the camera store this year because of the super busy year. I was doing a lot of assignments, but that's how much money I was spending on film. And right after that, digital photography came on. And of course, film sales tanked after that. And we got onto this uh, hamster wheel of upgrading cameras eight, every 18 months because you, it, the first digital cameras weren't great, but they were good and they were fast. And as an editorial photographer, that's what you needed. But then you were upgrading, you were on this upgrade path kind of every two years for years, it seemed like. And so I've seen that change and that's been the biggest change. When I talked to these photographers to hear what they appreciated about the camera store, it seemed to be the one thing that was always constant and that's the customer service and care. And I think that has to go with the passion that Peter and Julian have for photography themselves. They truly understand what it means for photographers to have a job that they need to do and to have that passion behind their work. And so they were able to put that in the customer service that they delivered from that understanding. So I talked to Peter and Julian to find out what they thought about this philosophy and how it's been so important and impactful to their survival for the last 25 years. I always really believe that we have to uh, listen to the customer first, find what they're trying to achieve or what they want to do, and then use our expertise to place the right product and to steer them in the right direction. It's not, at the end of the day, it's, it's about um, you know, completing their dreams and allowing them to, uh, and using our knowledge to allow them to actually achieve what they're trying to achieve. And uh, if we're successful, not only are they happy, but of course they'll refer people and come back. So it is completely self-fulfilling, uh, but it's, um, uh, it is definitely at the heart of, of what we're about and how we sell. From when we first started, and you know, there was one person in the store for almost the first year, um, the customers have been very supportive and we still have, you know, many, many customers that start shopping from day one. For the most part, that's always been you know, great. The fun is interacting with people. And we've always said if we look after our customers, they'll look after us, and they have, and they've been very good and very loyal. I mean, we had someone come in yesterday for a tripod, and he said, I, you don't stock it at special order. Your, your competitor stocks it. But he still came down to get it from us, and he's willing to wait a few days for it. And that's, you know, that's loyalty is symbiotic, right? We've always said that we don't just sell boxes. We sell photography, so we all love photography. We collect photography. Um, we've tried to educate people over the years. We bring brought in a lot of people to speak with Mary Ellen Mark and Bill Allard, Joel Sartori, Art Wolf, many, many people. I, you know, I know there are other stores in the city and obviously online, but it just isn't the same thing. Like this, to me, is the only place you would come because the people here and the help that you get here is really unique and people who work here are photographers they know like if you ask them a question they're not going to fish it out of the air they know what they're talking about so that's really helpful especially for somebody like me especially when I came into digital it, it was really helpful to have a group of people who knew the cameras and how they worked and knew the answers to give me and gave me some really good guidance so that I wasn't just fishing around in the dark trying to get started. But yeah, I, it's very comfortable coming here. I've come to so many social events here and it's just a place, to, I don't know, it's just really comfortable. And I can bring my dog. I like to think that we have a very 
uh, family feel. I mean, um, we're always very open with people, with our staff especially, and uh, we encourage them to be open back. Uh, there's nothing about the store that's corporate. We are very hands-on kind of people. I always say the advantage to any new employee coming on board, I always tell them the advantage about the camera store is uh, that we're always here. The disadvantage about the camera store is we're always here. So. Some people do well in that environment, others don't. And those that do thrive, I hope to think. I like to think they thrive, and they do. Not only do they um, stay with us for a lot of years, but a big percentage of them go ahead and end up being great customers for us as they start their own businesses and, and get into their own careers. Um, so it's, um, as I say, it's, it's all about relationships internally as much as it is externally towards you know, customers, suppliers, and everything else. Uh, well, I, first of all, I enjoy the experience of, of helping others. I like the environment. I like the staff. It's like a family. And, you know, they're all um, working towards the same goal of, you know, helping other people. They're all photographers. You know, it's not like working at other big box stores where one week you're selling vacuum cleaners, another week you're selling cameras and whatever. And so it's, um, uh, I enjoy it. I mean, when people come in here, they can't believe how much attention they get just when they walk in. You know, it's not just for security reasons, but we actually want to help people. So sometimes we get multiple people asking them, you know, if, we, if they can be helped or trying to find out what they want. So I think it's important. I now want to leave you with some more words from more of the photographers and the people who have come into our lives over the years to make the camera store the camera store. Over the years, the, uh, the amount of support, guidance, wisdom that I received, not only from Peter and Julian, but from you know, many other staffers, some that have moved on, uh, has been a really important resource and asset for me in my career. And uh, you know, I think it would be safe to say that uh, some of the successes that I've enjoyed, uh, the camera store has been really instrumental in those. I look at the camera store as being a resource first. You come in here and you talk to people and, and all of the people who work here are photographers themselves. They have the same passion that I do. And it's a great place to come and have conversation and be steered as opposed to sold to. You, you come here and um, the people you talk to, they listen to your your needs and they provide options these these will fulfill those and i've always found that i every time i come into the store I, I i buy something for crying out loud it's the people it's the experience it's a, it's a culture i'd like to congratulate the camera store and everybody that works here their for their informative uh, videos uh the knowledge and everything that they've given me and everybody else I've sent here for the last 25 years and I know it's just going to keep going and it's like I say it is a, a camera culture and you, no better place to go. For me anyway I always feel welcome when I come in here. I'm always greeted and it's always like there's never any pressure to buy stuff. If, uh, if I want to look at a lens they just dig it out and leave me to play with it and stuff. It's just it's really friendly. It's almost it's like uh, it's like Cheers, kind of, the non-alcoholic version of Cheers. You come in here and everybody knows your name. It's, it's just the best. It's absolutely the best. Uh, you know, I remember coming in and I'd need a lens at the last minute and Julian would get me one and I'd bring it back at the end of the day, hopefully in the same condition. <laughs> So the camera store, 25 years, congratulations. I mean, that's a huge achievement. Peter and Julian, I mean, they built this from the ground up and it's become just a central role in the photographic community of Calgary and all the people that we've worked with. Exactly, like helped. the people I worked with and the customers, you know, yeah. they all, all changed my life to the point where like, yeah, we're making videos forever together. <laughs> ever, Chris. Right, here's to 25 years forever to the camera store. And, and ever. I obviously can't wait till we get to 25 years. Mm. I don't know if we're gonna hit that. I think always the customer service has been 100% top notch. It's just yeah. like uh, you can't get that from Amazon so or anywhere. Anywhere. Yeah. anywhere. You know, you're treated well. You're treated with respect. You need a favor. It's no big deal. You need, you know, it, it, prices are good. Like there's never a reason to go anywhere else. There literally isn't. We need something. First stop is always here. Yep, yeah, absolutely. Well, it's a major feat to be in business for 25 years. Absolutely. Like that is just a huge bloody accomplishment. Yeah. Kudos and, to those two. Yeah, like, that, and it, that's, you know what you're doing at that point. And it didn't come without a ton of work, so it's very impressive. And they're awesome. We love you guys. Yeah, indeed. Uh.
Hi, I'm Bill Allard. I'm a photographer, and I would like to extend my heartiest congratulations to Peter and Julian, owners of the camera store up in Calgary, Canada. I often tell my photographer friends that if you get a chance, and you're up in Calgary, Canada, for whatever reason, pay a visit to the camera store because they've got everything that you would want. Uh, they're every bit as good as any New York City store with a whole lot better attitude. So all in all, again, I congratulate them on a one, wonderful 25th anniversary. That's incredible. And I uh, encourage all of you to pay a visit if you can. You might even come out of there being able to speak a little Canadian. Eh? Thank you.